Wittwire family, welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Mr. Wittwire. Today, today, today. Hey, yo, skirt, skirt, man. Check this out. All right, we got a video today. It's uh, called American Boy Converts to Islam. Yo, that's what's up. I'm doing a lot, man. Let's get into it. Now, remember, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Wittwire family. Also, if you got a video you want me to react to, make sure you get down in the comment section, post the link, and I will get to it. Yo, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, man. We the latest family on YouTube, and that's a fact. Also, before we get started, start it. Put a like on this video. Let's go ahead and get into this video and check it out. Y'all ready? Let's do it. This is Sabil Ahmad. I am in Guiding Light Islamic Center. I'm here in the parking lot. Next to me, you may be wondering, who is this youth? Yeah. All right. Why don't you say who you are? He's like really special. When I met, you know, there were so many guests who came today. When I met him, I said, wow, this person I need to interview. He's special. Who are you? Um, my name is Sam Swift, uh, and I'm a 15, and I'm a sophomore in high school. I go to Trinity High School. Oh, he goes to Trinity High School. Yeah. And you may be wondering, who are watching this video, maybe this is a Christian guy who believes in Trinity and takes Jesus as Lord and Savior. Do you? No, sir. So I found out that, alhamdulillah, our brother Sam, he is a revert to Islam. He converted to Islam. And uh, somebody forced you, correct? No. Nobody forced you, mashallah, of your own choice. Huh? Of course, no, of course. Alhamdulillah. So why don't you mention briefly your story, I mean, who introduced Islam to you? And uh, what, what teachings of Islam attracted you? That of your own choice, you studied and then you became a Muslim. Yeah, so um, it was all in like sixth grade, um, you know, and at the time and still, of course, today. You know, the media is always demonizing Islam, you know, terrorism, 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 terrorism. All the shows, like, it's like, you know, terrorism. Uh, and my parents, they're always pretty cool about it. And, you know, they said, you know, this is not really, really Islam, all right? Uh, and so I, I, was, I was reading about it online, and I had a friend, uh, alhamdulillah, really still my best friend to this day. And I started off sort of mocking him and, you know, like, you know, what bomb. Oh, uh, like, you know. I mean, I wasn't like trying to like actually, I didn't like actually hate Islam. I was just being kind of a scumbag. I was like, you know, oh, you know, bombs, you know, flying carpets, stuff like that. And, um, but I asked questions, you know, he answered them and there were good answers. And uh, I admired like, because uh, the main pull factor, one of the main pull factors was like the discipline uh, that Islam had. Uh, because I was, I was pretty... What is the example of that? Um, that you have, you, you know, really modest, you have to like, carry yourself good, uh, and I'm not saying that I, like, dude, I'm not a, obviously not a perfect person, I have some, but I just admire that, I admire that part that brought me in, and, uh, just, you know, respect, and, of course, submission to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and, um, that, that was, that was some of the main pull factors, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. You know, when I met Sam and he introduced himself, he was wearing the full toe, by the way, right? And the turban, the toe you have in the backpack. But Alhamdulillah, you introduce yourself, that of your own choice. You know, what important lesson, Sam, that I can learn from that encounter with uh, your Muslim friend Ali, is that Muslims, we have to practice and we have to be a good example for our fellow Americans and people of humanity. Yes, we can teach and we can preach and give them a choice, but we have to practice that. And I believe your friend Ali has done a good job. I hope so, right? Of course, yeah. Yes. And second important thing is uh, we need to have the knowledge to correct the people. If people think that, you know, Muslims are extremists and terrorists and threat to society, I think Ali did a good job, your friend, to introduce to you what Islam is and what Islam is not. Yeah. It's a good lesson for the youth and all the Muslims. So I want to ask you this question. What about your parents? How? What was the reaction once they found out that, you know, my son, Sam, converted to Islam? What was the reaction? Um, I think that it's actually pretty unique. My parents, they were actually really, they were pretty tolerant about it. Um, because they, they weren't like, you know, they're not like strong. They're, they're raised Christian, but I guess like they're sort of like agnostic and deist. Um, and so, you know, they, they, they were, they're supportive. Um, and ma mashallah, they're so, they're really good about it. And it, they just don't. They just don't want me to like. Uh, and this, this is kind of understandable. They just don't want me to, um, to like try to make it a big a part of their lives. Like, they, so, you know, they just, yeah, yeah. But you know, brother Sam, uh, you have two obligations. I mean, there are so many obligations. Two obligations. First obligation 
is to share the message of Islam with your parents. You know, you want to go to paradise, I want to go to paradise, all of us. But we also want our parents to be there, don't you? So it's really important that by your good words, good actions, becoming the best son anyone can ever have, that would be one of the ways to lead them towards the truth of Islam and the guidance of the Quran. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Of course, yes. That's what I'm saying. Second obligation that you have is to make sure that if you have siblings, yeah? yeah. If you have brothers and sisters, you may have, uh, you know, your friends, non-Muslim friends, you're going to a Trinity school. Yeah. Basketball team, right? <laughs> uh, that was not a basketball team, but uh, this, I think it's like a... Uh, either in a mural thing or some like we okay. want to take state and, uh, I see yeah. so one big lesson I want uh, Sam to share with all of us would be you know nowadays in the 21st century it may be so in all the centuries youth may have so many temptations so many problems so many distractions in this world and look at you mashallah good example I mean may Allah make all of us better I mean right but what message that you have one to the Muslim youth second to the non-muslims who may be listening out here um, my advice to the to Muslim youth and non-muslims is to uh, not just not just sort of just go through the motions of life you know like actually you know especially for the Muslim youth you have to you you are Muslim right you've been blessed that you you were born a Muslim so you have all the tools that you that you like that you need to succeed you because you you know your parents will be behind you if, if you're being raised Muslim so take advantage of that and uh, use and, and and, and go into the religion, you know, learn about the religion, make it a part of your life. You don't, you, you can't just say, you know, I'm a Muslim and, and then just go, go to the masjid because your parents tell you to pray because your parents tell you to. You have to, you have to, you have to make you, you have to be your own Muslim. You can't just be some, just go through the motions, all right? You have to just look, actually look into Islam, read about Islam and it'll bring you closer to Allah. And what advice time. that you have for our non-Muslim brothers and sisters out there who may be thinking Muslims are threat? Um, what would you say to them? Just don't believe the mainstream media because these, these these reporters they're not they're not Islamic scholars they're not ulama. So, what my advice to them would be to to actually if if they wanna if they wanna actually you know find truth, uh, then 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 actually then learn about Islam. Don't just don't just take it it, it uh, face value from what the media says. Excellent advice. So learn Islam not from the Fox, the CNN, the fake news, the White House but from the Quran and the last Prophet <laughs> Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam You know when I listen to the, your advice uh, you said you are what 50 years of age? 15 Oh 15? Yes MashaAllah your advice is as if you are like a wise 50 year old person MashaAllah May Allah keep you guided May Allah give Hidayah guidance to your parents to all of humanity and may Allah keep you blessed and all of us blessed Man wonderful Congratulations welcome to Islam brother <laughs> Yo, that's my guy, man. That's my guy. Yo, y'all get that in the comment section. I have uh, I'm gonna post a link to the video in the um, in the description. I want y'all to go click on the link and subscribe to his channel. I'm subscribed to their channel, and every time they're posting videos, it's like it's it's like. Cause to me, I'm subscribed to a lot of people's channels, but it's it's certain channels that I make sure I watch, and this is definitely one of them. Um, the content they post makes you feel good, whether you are a Muslim or a non-Muslim. It's just their content makes you feel good. Like it's something that you can watch, and after you're done watching, it gives you that sense of, hmm. If I didn't know what to do. Now I have a little clearer idea of what to do. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like if it's a, a cloudy day or if it's a rainy day, you know, and then you, you watch these videos from that channel. It's almost like it just opens up the clouds. And then you just see the rainbow, you know, and it, it just makes you feel good. Um, the other thing I want to say is that <clears throat> everything is your choice. This is your life. Okay. So when people say... Um, you know, basically, you know, why did you, you know, why did you revert to Islam or anything like that? Nobody is forcing you, okay? Nobody's forcing you. It's a choice, you know, it's a choice. You can stay non Muslim, perfectly fine. Or you could revert and be a Muslim, perfectly fine. The main thing is your character and who you are as a person that matters. 
And that's what God is looking at. Okay? So take your time and figure out who you are and who you're supposed to be in life. And always remember to pray. It's your boy, Mr. Twy, man. Guys, I will see you tomorrow. Why? Because I post videos every day. Make sure you put a like on the video. And uh, yeah, take care. See y'all tomorrow.